ahead and, and move into that one. That is the NCAA's D2 and D3, Division 2 and Division 3. The President's Councils for both of those have canceled their fall championships for the 2020 seasons. Um, and here, here's why it's, you know, again, everybody, doom and gloom, it's the end of the world. You know, why doesn't Division 1 go ahead and do this as well? Blah, 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 blah. All, all that stuff, right, that comes out when they see something like this. Those, th- those schools, those programs, in Division Now, this is not FCS, by the way. FCS has not made a decision because that's still technically Division One. There's there's just two divisions in Division One: FBS Football Bowl Subdivision and FCS Football Championship Subdivision. That would be your North Dakota States and James Madison's and blah 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 blah. So um, D two and D three are canceling because they don't make money playing football. They offer the programs for the students, and it's it's a it's valid football programs, et cetera. I mean, this is where Lance Leopold used to coach, right? Wisconsin Whitewater, like oh, stuff like that. Um, those are smaller places that routinely maybe draw, you know, high school crowds, high school football crowds in the South. Like that, that's what they do. So there is not a television revenue. There's not, there is no incentive to play if there is any kind of a risk at this point. It is completely different when you get into the FBS. Now, FCS, not on the same level as FBS, but there is a little bit of money and whatnot involved there. So, obviously, we'll see what happens. But, you know, I I, I don't think this is uh, surprising at all. Did did you find that? No, and the biggest thing is, is we got to remember, just like with the UConn story, it's not just about health and safety and it's not worth the risk. It's not worth the increased cost because it is going to cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, probably a week, maybe a month that to to do the testing, to do the proper cleaning protocols that you're going to have to do over and over and over again, these big schools, that's a drop in the bucket to what they generate. And so they're willing to eat that. These little schools just aren't going to have that luxury. Yeah. No, you're, you're dead on. You are. I mean, I it it doesn't have to just be a. It's not safe to play thing. It's a. We have to test and we have to clean and we have to to be able to to you know safely work. But that safety well, they, they don't costs have the, money. Yeah, they don't have the same facilities and whatnot either. No. So it it's it's no tougher. no no. I've been in some of those weight rooms where they ain't been cleaned in years. Well, on top of that, it's a smaller weight. After that, it's a small weight room. Like, yes. it, you, you can't really socially distance in there. So, no. you know, stuff like that, That that's why D2 and D3 are canceling is because it's, I mean, it's almost impossible to follow the, the guidelines yeah. that are set they, forth. They can't, and they can't, they just can't afford, they can't afford the cost of it. So, I mean, I, I'm seeing, you know, different tweets and whatnot about, uh, it feels inevitable, just do it already, rip the Band-Aid off, go ahead and do D1 too. It's like, that's so foolish. It's so yeah. stupid. It's it, you're not comparing. It, We're it's not apples all the and oranges. Same. Yeah, it's it's just ridiculous. You, you got to pay attention to what is actually going on, and this is a completely different circumstance. But nobody does that. People just want to scream. They yeah. just want. No one wants to look at the nuance of anything. They just want to yell and tell people they're wrong. Yeah, Michael jumps in. He said, "If anyone believes it's just about the kids, then they also believe Urban Meyer left coaching to spend more time with his family." Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's and immediately right. jumped on that Fox bus and left every week to travel the country. Yep. You got without it. his family. Yeah. Oh, his, his family is still in Ohio. So, you know, it, it, want to spend more time with him. Want to, want to deal with the, he, he doesn't want to coach because of health problems. And yet he's traveling to LA every weekend, every week, every weekend. I mean, it, you know, he spends more than half the week out, uh, out of the, out of the state. So either way, Will said some small schools still have those Joe uh, Joe Wider weights from the nineties. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, just it's, covered in rust. It's ridiculous. It is just I mean, that ridiculous. is that is just tetanus just living everywhere in there. <laughs> All right.